Hi friends, welcome to SAP Administration Learning Platform. In the today's video, we are going to learn how to add the SAP HANA system in SAP HANA Studio. If you need to connect to the HANA database for your job, then this is the video for you. We must first establish connection to the HANA database from the HANA Studio in order to manage the HANA system. I observed that many people are looking the details how to add the system into the HANA Studio. So definitely in today's video you will get the answer about this question. But before start the practical I would like to tell you some prerequisite like first and the important one is a firewall. Now the question comes why the firewall? The HANA Studio connect to the HANA database using the SQL connection. So the SQL port of the HANA database must be allowed on the firewall. So if you are using the first time or you are the first one who is using the HANA Studio from one different network then you have to ensure that the port the ports are must be allowed on the firewall. So this is the first prerequisite. The second prerequisite is the database user for the authentication. So when you are trying to connect the HANA database from the HANA studio, you will need one username, one user and the password for the authentication standpoint. So although you are the database administrator or the SAP IT person who is trying to use HANA Studio to connect to the HANA database in that case you will need the database user. The third prerequisite is we will need the information about the host name, IP address, instance number and the mode. So these are the prerequisite First of all, we will need HANA Studio to be installed on the laptop or the desktop. In case if you are opening the first time, it will ask you for the workspace means the location where you want to where you want to store the HANA Studio configuration files. So just provide the location and check this option. So next time it will not ask you the same option or it will not ask you the workspace. So basically this is the HANA Studio screen. Then this is the system view. In the system view you will get multiple options. So for adding the system we will use add system option. So just click on add system. This is the system connection property. Here we have to provide the host name Hostname means fully qualified domain name also called FQDN the hostname of the server on which the system is installed. In case of multi-host system just specify the master host details. If you want to add the tenant database only you need to specify the fully qualified domain name of the system host. So this is about the hostname. The second option is the instance number. So here you have to provide the instance number of the system. This information you will get from the HANA database admin. Before move to the third option that is a mode. Let's add the information. I will use the IP address of the host where the HANA database is installed. Second is the instance number. So in my case it's a double zero. Now the third option that is the mode so single container and the multi container so with the new SAP HANA 2.0 SP01 release now all the system runs in the multi container database mode so you have to select the multi container option and if you are going to log in on the tenant database then you have to specify the name of the tenant database in our case it's the HDB and just click on next on the next screen you will get an option 
to enter the details for the authentication so in my case I'm using the system user in your case you have to enter authentication details which is provided by the HANA database admin so once that details are entered then just select this box so next time whenever you start the HANA studio it will not ask you the the password else if you not select if you are not selecting this box then next time when you will open the HANA studio it will ask you the password and then just click on finish we can see that now database connection is set up with the help of the provided details we can also add the system DB we just have to go to the system view toolbar then add system provide the details about the hostname and IP address then instance number then select the multi container and this time we have to select the system database and click on next provide the authentication details and enter the password and simply click on the finish so this way now we can see here now both tenant database as well as the system database both are added successfully in the HANA studio sometimes you might face the issue while adding the system in the HANA studio so you might observe that after entering the username password you will get the error that unable to connect the database so that time you can also check from the database admin side that is the system is running all the services are up and running fine so the reason behind it that because the HANA database talk with the HANA studio with the help of the SQL connection SQL port so in case the database is down then the connection or adding the system into the HANA studio is not possible so this is all about how to add HANA system into the HANA studio I hope this information will help you while adding the system in the HANA studio thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to the channel if you are not yet subscribed share with your friends click on the bell icon to get the notification about the upcoming video take care bye bye